Boys, I just dropped 1.6 million coins on this Warren Moon for you guys in this gameplay here today. So make sure you smash that like button. But as you guys know, Warren Moon was the first quarterback in the game that got all the accuracy stats. So he was the first quarterback that wasn't missing throws, right? He is still very solid. He is now the fastest Hot Rod Master card in the game. They didn't change his release, so he still has that really, really bad release. But they did balance it pretty well. But anyways, before we go into more about the card, let's get right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Like I was talking about, as you guys know, he has Slinger 5, which is one of the worst releases in the game, but they have to balance these cards somehow, right? Warren Moon now is the fastest Hot Master in the game by plus 10 speed. I think Joe Montana is sitting around 77 as well, and he was the fastest Hot Master, so now you have a very fast one. He gets Gunslinger and Hot Master, so if you can deal with the really bad short right and the very bad bad medium right as well this card is going to be the best quarterback in the game for you he also with the all madden strat card goes up to 98 throw power the accuracies are at 93 89 88 the throwing the pressure is good the throwing the runs good but like i said there's really nothing wrong with the card at all besides his short right and his medium right but his special bucket there's only one really ability you'd want to use here Probably just that Howard Master Gunslinger stack. That's all I'm really using right now. You could use Gift Rat, but we're going to keep our Slot Apprentice on our squad right now. This card is expensive. Let me show you this price tag before we get into a game. Yeah, I already lost out right here. Warren Moon's now down to 1.5. I bought him for 1.6, but yeah, I knew I was going to lose a lot in this gameplay regardless. I really, I'm going to be honest. I like to be honest and transparent with you guys. I don't think this card is worth over a mil at all. Yeah, I know he's a fast Howard Master. This is a crazy, crazy price tag, boys. An absolutely disgusting price tag. Do not buy him right now at this price. He surely should drop a little bit at least. But anyways, let's take this expensive card into the gridiron. Look at Warren Moon. Like I said, we already know what the card is. This, I know a lot of people don't like recycled content or whatnot, but... Like I said, we already know exactly what release he gets, whatever you want to say in the game. That right there is okay. But once you start throwing into the flat, like if I were to throw that to Greg uh, Olsen, I'll try to show with this game. It is really slow, man. Very, very slow. Wish they would have changed his release and made it a little bit better, but I, I don't think they're really changing releases too much this year. They haven't done it yet at all. And my controller actually went out. It went out and I had to plug it back in. I felt the vibrate. And we still got that ball off in time. Okay, Warren. Yeah, boys, I'm not going to lie. I think my controller is like bugging. I don't know if my charger is going out, but it just went out again right there. This could be very bad news, but we're going to try to deal with it throughout this game. And I want to show you guys the short right. Yeah. See, that's that's a perfect example right there. That cockback, if you're playing a guy that's blitzing in 6-1 or they're running the new delayed linebacker blitz that's really OP right now, it's not going to be really fun with this Warren Moon card with that bad release. I always try to be honest with you guys, though. You guys always know I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I will always tell you guys the negatives about cards. Warren Moon has had that hitch. That's why I went back to RG3 when this card was so popular back in the day. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why he's 1.6 mil. I get he's a fast power master, but I don't know, man. It's weird that it's like short left is faster than his short right, too. It makes absolutely no sense. If you're a hot route master fanatic, this card can be an absolute god for you. That's the big deal with him, right? And oh, I wanted to run that read option, man. He's ready for it, but we got that new Ricky Williams getting some touches. I'll take it. All right, cover three. I'm li I'm thinking a little bit of a flood concept to the right right here. Can we actually get that in the end zone? Oh, man, just a little bit too far, but Warren Moon, man, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, he's felt good so far, and we're not even going to score in the first game. I think he's out of here. All right, game two. Let's get it. Boys, getting into game number two, I just want to admit right now, like, for 1.5 million, I feel like you got to be able to fly. I need a jetpack or something. Like, that for a card is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think anybody should be paying that. But, like I said, for gameplay purposes, I got to get it out, man. Just so you guys know. I actually feel like, you know when you have that guilty feeling when you have an expensive card and you can just feel it? It's like, I don't know. I just feel like it's just depreciating as I'm holding this card right now. I can feel my coins being lost at the current moment. Ah, uh, the one thing that's tough about him, though. If we're getting six cent at us with a bad release... We're going to have to make do, man. We're going to have to make do right here. There's no way this guy's a send six player every single time, though, right? I feel like I have not seen that in a long time. I feel like nobody ever sends six out of uh, six one anymore. And, yeah, I was about to say, he wasn't going to do that all game. We're actually getting, like, PI'd right there. I was about to say, Greg Olsen was wide open. All right, I'm quick snapping this right here, boys. Yeah, we're going to attack those flats. Get him out of this 6-1 a little bit, right? Oh, man. Okay, Greg Olsen, brand new addition to the team. Hey, he's here, boys. He's here. He might be here to stay. But one thing that's there's no better feeling in Madden is watching a, a guy like just snap right back in that play after getting dominated and you know like they're so set in that one play and we're just gonna keep on throwing it down to Olsen for five yards minimum a pop. 
Far E feels good. On that sack, I felt like I couldn't get that ball away even if I wanted to. I mean, with that release, it was a little bit rough. Let's see what he has right here. He is sending a lot of people no matter what. And, yeah, he is basically letting Greg Olsen just eat all game. He does not want to play defense here. All right, I want to see if maybe we can get this read option going against it. I'm not 100%. Ah, oh, he pulled it, man. He pulled it. I wanted to see how conservative he was playing. I want to run all my plays to the left side of the field because I know his release on the right sucks. It's a little bit difficult, but he is only rushing four right here. And guess what again, boys? Our guy, Greg Olson. He is dominating right now. I haven't given him the quick snap verticals yet. We have not ran that once yet this game. Let's see if we can throw a laser maybe. And I think, yes, sir. Oh, bro. I swear this is not a Greg Olson gameplay. This is a Warren Moon gameplay. I'm trying to prove it as much as I can, but he's perfect right now. I think we're six for six or seven for seven. All to Greg Olsen, by the way. Go for that two-point conversion, man. I feel like we haven't been able to play with him too much. That last guy quit so fast as well. And let's see Greg Olsen again. Yeah, basically, you just got to put two on him at this point. But put two people on him. I don't know why, but on the first play, of the, I, like every single time on the first play of the game, I always forget to like talk over it. We actually just got a sack for minus 10 yards, and he's actually running on a second down. And now he's in a very, very, very deep third and 17. I don't think running there was ever the right call. And now you look at look at this play. Oh, man. You can never run on a second and 20. That is the worst play call of all time. The good news about him running on a second and 20 is that now it forces a punt. Although that first drive was a Greg Olsen show, I want to see if we can get the read option maybe cooking a little bit more. Maybe a big play or two. I feel like we were checking down a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. So officially, we've got him out of 6-1. I don't know if this is going to work with the read option a little bit better. Yeah, it looks like he's on conservative, boys. Yeah, there's just no plays to be made in the running game. I tried it. You guys saw. I tried it. I always want to, like, try as much things as I can with cards so you guys can see how they use all around. I mean, he is a fast card nonetheless, but simply no plays to be made right there. And look at his counterpart. Brand new running back as well, Ricky Williams. We're 8 for 8, 100 yards, man. Maybe we can finish with a perfect game. We're going to try our best to. Let's get it, boys. Third and two. He has a lot of people being sent again, and we're going to keep that perfect streak alive. And this one's actually going to be our biggest play of the game so far. 130 yards, man. Perfect game. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh I feel like he's about to rage blitz us, man. Watching somebody dot you up like this, he's about to send all six right here. This might be our first incomplete. I just have a feeling. There's no way he plays coverage, right? He actually is going to play coverage. Only four of them sent. I'm going to highball this right at his user. We keep it alive, man. 10 for 10 right at the linebacker. That's why I love Carmichael. And this is the type of gameplay I like you and man. I'm having a lot of fun right now. I am running double post right here. I don't know if I have enough room to do it. We're going to lean on our, get our big fella right here, man. Greg Olsen. And we fall for the touchdown. Yeah, I I'm having a lot of fun this gameplay. I'm not going to lie, man. War Moon definitely feels a little tough. Although we haven't thrown to the bo the bottom right too much, he still feels okay. I don't know if he feels 1.5 okay, but yeah, he's good. I know this doesn't count towards your stats, so of course we're going to go for a two-point conversion. If we miss, we miss, but as you guys know with Warren Moon, he doesn't miss throws. He, ha he hasn't missed one yet today. I think w with the way this game's going down, 16 points, one more stop, surely we'll get out of this game. And wow, I thought we had him dead in the backfield, and what a play by Marshawn Lynch. That's more of our, our opponent. That was good stick work. He likes to run in this formation. Last time he came out and he ran the first time. And Justin Fields going backwards. And he turns a really good play from Marshawn Lynch to a really bad play. So now he's sitting at third and eight. I'm actually going to all out blitz him, I think, this time. Let's go. We guessed past two. Oh, he still got picked up. And Justin Fields, man, still laying lasers like that. I don't know how he completes that throw, dude. Here we go, boys. Third and 13. Once again, we get him in a long situation. And he's actually just going to chuck it up. And Sauce Gardner, I need you to pick that ball, man. I'm not paying for pick artists for no reason. I don't know what he's doing. He's clocking up something. No no audibles have been made. He's going straight for it. And uh-oh, corner out. Ah, good play. One in doubt, corner out. I think in this formation, he averages negative five yards of play. I don't know why he keeps on coming back out of this. And he actually threw that? I was about to say, our deep end's got to work there. The thing is, too, is he cannot chew clock. He can't just be nonchalant right now. He actually has to score. This game is all the way over. And let's see what he does. Another play and bounce. It's getting harder and harder to score a touchdown from here. The guy, so he can't quick seam throw it. And uh-oh, he's throwing it right at us. And he forced another bad read. And Ronnie Lott, an absolute legend in this game, man. Who's his, boys? He hasn't quit yet. We went down at the three-yard line. So we can actually make a big play right here and kind of stat pad. I respect the EA. I always tell you guys, I respect it when, hey, if EA didn't do that, this dude was about to be off Madden for the day and be off Fortnite. If they didn't give him a free sack instant where 
Yeah, you guys see that. Literally didn't get touched. The D-tackle didn't get touched. He would have been on Fortnite if he didn't get that safety. We were about to score a tutter. Hey, boys, so after the safety, we actually have him going for it on a second and 20. We got to bat this down. Why would you catch that, Sauce? Get down, get down. We're going for this, boys. We're actually throwing the ball right here with one second left. And no way he's going to leave all of that, man. I mean, we finished with 167 yards, 100% completion percentage, two touchdowns. We should have had three in that last game, but that guy quit as well. Boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I don't think this card is worth it at all. He's a good card. Don't get me wrong. He's a good card. He has Howard Master. Do not spend one point. Never spend a million coins on a card that isn't, like, super, super broken. He has a bad release. He obviously gets Howard Master. He's a fast Howard Master. That's a big deal. I understand that, but over a mil is ridiculous. Yet alone 1.5 mil, boys. Do not do it. Save your coins. Hopefully, I'm the one that could tell you guys this right now. But like I said, good card, not the value. No value worth at all with this card. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys in some videos tomorrow. We got some legends on Saturday. I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.